We are ready to go from brainstorming into our next part of our um, outwriting, which will be making our rough draft. The first thing we need to do though, is we are going to choose one major ouch story to tell in a big paragraph, okay? And so we brainstormed four ideas, but now you're going to narrow it down. Which one do you think would be the best story for you to be able to write out? This one would have a lot of detail. You would remember a lot of it. Probably not something from when you were a baby that you've been told a couple things about, but maybe something that you remember. You remember how it felt and you'll be able to write those descriptions out. So I'm going to um, choose this first one here, which was I broke my arm doing a back handspring. So that's your first step. Um, find your diagnosing your ouch moment. You can pause the video now and circle which one you would like to choose, which ouch moment you would like to choose. After you have chosen your ouch moment, we're now ready to write it into our graphic organizer for our rough draft. Now to start, we're only going to worry about um, four sentences. Okay, that's all we're gonna write today is just four sentences. We're gonna look at first, next, then, and finally. And these things here are going to help guide us through our story. So I would like for you, you should have this printed and I'd like for you to do just like I did, I'd like for you to highlight first, next, then and finally. So first, I need to include my setting of where I was when I broke my arm doing a back handspring. So I'm going to say um, the time and the place in this opening sentence to include my setting and you'll do the same thing for your ouch moment. Where were you and when was it? So first, I broke, oh wait, I'm sorry. First, I was, I already messed up. First, I was at gymnastics. Class. That's the where, right? And the when. When I was a third grader. You might say when I was five or when I was six, okay? So I want you to tell me how old you were. That'll be the when, unless you know the actual year it was as well. Okay, now remember, I'm only doing four sentences today. First, next, then finally. That's all I'm worried about. So I'm going to talk about what happened next. I set the stage, I said where I was, when it was. Now what happened next? Well, next, it was my turn to do a round off back handspring. Don't worry too much about your spelling at this point because we will revise and edit. Okay, so what happened? I, I had my setting. I talked about what happened next. What happened then? Okay, so in this part here, eventually I'm gonna tell some details about that back handspring and what happened that I got hurt. But the next major event is that my mom took me to the doctor, okay? And I might wanna add up here just so I remember what details. It was my turn to do a round off back handspring and my arm broke. Okay, that way I know what details. Here, I'm gonna be giving details about my trip to the doctor. Okay, and then finally, in a narrative, just like our characters facing challenges in our close reader, 
this is a challenge we faced, right? When you're not feeling well, that's a challenging situation. And here, my challenge was that my arm was really hurting. So what did I learn from this situation? So for me, finally, I learned I needed to strengthen my arms before I did any difficult gymnastics tricks. It was time to do some push-ups, right? So here's my order. First, I was at gymnastics class when I was a third grader, include your setting. Next, it was my turn to do a round off back handspring and my arm broke. Then my mom took me to the doctor. Finally, I learned I needed to strengthen my arms before I did any difficult gymnastics tricks. So make sure that when you choose an event for next and a key event for then, that you'll be able to write more details about those things. Um, some show don't tell details, like what it felt like, um, what your body felt like, what you sounded like, um, that you can add some things in there. Okay, that's all you need to do today. And then we are going to add our three details to each of those sentences next time. So go ahead and get this done. Upload your first draft with just those four sentences into schoolwork and then keep this in a safe, safe, safe spot so that you're ready to roll when we move on to the rest.